Good morning, boys and girls. Good morning. <laughs> hey, we're here for your Sunday school lesson today. And if we were at church in our Sunday school room, we would be starting a new unit. That means that uh, in our gospel project room, we'd have different decorations up to see. Uh, there'd be a new, uh, what's that, the countdown yeah. for us to watch, new songs and different things like that. But we're not back in our room yet, so all you have is Mrs. Murray and I. Us. So, I thought maybe I would do something amazing for our boys and girls. Since Everything they, you do is amazing. I know, I know, but this, just wait till you see this. I brought a sheet of paper, just like this. It's just a regular sheet of paper. There's nothing on either side. I can put my whole body through this piece of paper. <laughs> no, you can't. Just using a pair of scissors. No. Yeah. Uh, oh, yes, I can. You uh, want to see it? Yes, I do. Okay. I bet our boys and girls want to see it, too. I'll uh, do it kind of slowly so you can try it at home. But what you need to do is fold the piece of paper in half, hot dog way, like this. See, I folded it in half like that, and I'm going to start, and I'm gonna make a cut, but I'm not gonna go all the way through the paper, so I'm gonna stop right there. Then I'm gonna flip it over, and I'm gonna make a cut about the same size, and I'm gonna get close to the edge, but I'm not gonna go all the way across, and then I'm gonna flip it back, and I'm gonna do it the other way, and what I will do, all the way down the length of this paper, is alternate those cuts, one from one side, one from the other side, and I'll cut and leave, oh, about a half an inch before I get to the edge. And you can see that it's starting to drop through there, but I don't think I can go through that. Do you think so? <clears throat> You've gotten skinny, but you sure can't go through that. Well, you just wait, just wait. Okay, just a few more and I'll be to the end of this piece of paper. If you can do this, it's gonna be amazing. Oh, it is. It is awesomely amazing. Maybe just about one or two more, two more. I've lost some weight. I think I'll do a little more, okay. Now, there we go. I've gotten all the way through. Now I'm gonna put it back down. It's kind of hard to hold it but you can see that it's still the half a sheet of paper like that. So I'm gonna take that, one side was open and one side was folded. And you can see this is the folded side. If I hold it up like that, you can see how that was folded. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to each of those little sections that's folded. I'm gonna skip the first section, but I'm going to cut on the fold of every other section. I'm not supposed to do that one. I'm not doing the first one. I'm going oh, to the okay. second one. And I'm not, I'm not gonna cut the first section. And I'm also not going to cut the last section. So the first section and the last section are not gonna get cut, but all the rest of them, I'm gonna cut them right on that fold. Okay, so are you gonna go through this because it's gonna be like confetti you oh, you just it. wait, you just wait. Okay, I've I cut them miss. all on the folds. So watch this. Then I pick it up and look. Well, look at that. What I've got. And I can go right through it. Ta-da! All right, that was amazing. It was. You were <laughs> right. I never would have thought it. But that does make me think about our lesson for today because Jesus did amazing things too. And I hate to tell you this, but they were a lot more amazing than that. I think you're right. <laughs> so, you know, we've been talking about Jesus um, and today we're going to talk about his miracles, which are things that happen that we don't expect. And they're kind of amazing. Okay. So Jesus was traveling and he went to Calpurnium with his disciples, remember we talked about them last week, Simon, Andrew, James, and John. And he went to the synagogue on the Sabbath and he began to teach. And the people there were very surprised because Jesus
Jesus' teaching was not like the scribe's teaching because he spoke with authority. That means he talked like he knew what he was talking about. Mm -hmm. Just then a man with an unclean spirit shouted, What do you have to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. And Jesus commanded the spirit to be quiet and come out of that man. He said, come out of that man. And the spirit yelled again, and then he came out. And everyone was amazed. Who is this Jesus, they asked. He teaches with authority, and the unclean spirits obey him. News about Jesus spread quickly throughout all of Galilee. And then next, Jesus and his disciples went to Simon and Andrew's house. Simon's mother-in-law, she had been sick and in bed with a fever. But Jesus went to her and he took her hand and he healed her just by touching her hand. She got well? She did. And not only did she get well, she got up and she began to serve Jesus by telling others about what he had done. And that evening, large crowds of people came to the house with others who were sick or were bothered with evil spirits, and Jesus healed them. Wow. Early the next morning, Jesus went out by himself to pray. Simon and the other disciples found him and said, Everyone is looking for you. And Jesus said, Let's go on to the nearby villages so I can preach there too. This is why I have come. So Jesus traveled all throughout Galilee and he preached and he drove out demons and a man with skin disease came up to Jesus and he got down on his knees and he said, please, if you're willing, you can make me clean. And Jesus was willing and he healed the man. Jesus' miracles proved that Jesus is the Messiah and the Son of God. They strengthened the people's faith and met their needs. Through Jesus, God did what is impossible for us to do on our own. He provided forgiveness, salvation, and eternal life. That's right. You know, Jesus, when he was on earth, did lots of amazing things, like the miracles that Ms. Murray just told you about. We're probably going to hear some of those in the upcoming weeks. But you know what, boys and girls, those miracles were important because they helped people to see that Jesus was God's son. But they weren't the most important thing about Jesus. I want to share with you our new key passage for this unit because it tells you what the most important thing about Jesus is. This verse is one of the best known verses in the whole Bible. A lot of you probably even know it from memory already. It's in the book of John, chapter 3, verse 16. John 3, 16. And I'm going to read it for you now. For God loved the world so much that he gave his one and only Son, so that everyone who believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. That's the most important thing to remember about Jesus, that he, God sent him to earth to die for our sins so that if we trust and follow mm -hmm. him, we can be forgiven and live forever with God. That's right. Okay. That is so neat. That is so true. And I was just sitting wondering, you know how it said that people came to the house to see Jesus? I wonder if people got, if the word got out, that you can do that trick, people will come line up at our house to see you do it. I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I think this is a good time to pray. Yeah. <laughs> Lord God, as we learn more about you, we are amazed at all you are. No one is like you. You, The unclean spirits obey you. You have power over sickness, and you want to help us. Give us faith to trust that you will give us everything we need. 
thank you for forgiveness, salvation, and eternal life. We love you, Lord. And all God's children said, Amen. Amen. Hey, you know what? I think even you could get through this piece of paper. I bet. Yeah. And look, <laughs> I bet we both could get in here. Ta da! <laughs> okay, boys and girls, have a great week. We love and miss you and hope to see you soon. Bye. Bye.